Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel with by Curiosity. In this video, we will learn about another new function introduced in Microsoft Office 365. In one of the previous videos, we learned about XLOOKUP. I will leave the link in suggestion above and the description box in case you have missed out on that video. Today, we will learn about filter function. So let's begin. Filter function in Excel is used to filter a range of data based on the criteria specified. Let's say I want data for East region in another sheet. Let's see how filter function can help us with that. Let me go to other sheet. Now we want data for East region to be populated here. Let's start with the formula equals to filter. The first parameter is array, which is our range. So let's select the entire table. Next parameter is include. So here we want to include region that is specified in cell B1, which is East. So let's first select the entire region column and then we will mention equals to cell B1 and that's it. Isn't it simple? Now let's say I write central instead of east. Now here we have got an error because we do not have any employee at central region. In this case, when the data is unavailable, that means the formula gets no matches. We can specify third parameter, which is if empty. Let me add data not available. Click on enter. And since there are no matches for central region, we get data not available. Now, what if we want to filter data with two parameters? Region should be East and rating should be 2 or greater than 2. Let's start with the formula equals to filter. Let's select the array first. For next parameter, let's select region column and it should be equal to data in b1 cell which is east and now since we need to add one more condition we will use asterisk sign which is basically and let me mention the next condition select rating column and greater than equals to 2 click on enter we have our data So that's it for this video. If you liked my video, do click on the like button and subscribe my channel. If you want me to cover more new functions introduced in Office 365, do let me know in comments. And also share your comments on which Excel formula or problem statement I should cover in my next video. Stay safe, keep learning and bye bye for now.